my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about setting up your blog on Click eCourse so it's actually a platform for course hosting and we've got a WordPress self-managed option for you there that's that's actually free you can just go and set up an account and create your blog post your blogs and your post and your page and everything it's just a full WordPress setup and it's really a one-click thing and we're going to show you how to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Income Secrets hey so why WordPress right so first of all if you've never heard of WordPress it's one of the most widely used platforms that allows you to do blogging so it allows you to create your web page allows you to create shopping carts allows you to do uh, e-commerce allows you to do all sorts of the things because it's completely customizable and that's one of the things too that scares people off sometimes because it's a little overwhelming there's so much that you can do with it that's why other sites have simplified a website creation even more but the thing with WordPress is it is a tried and true you can find lots of people to help you set it up and support you and that's not what this is about I want to show you how to do it yourself and what it takes to set up a WordPress blog site on Click eCourse so Click eCourse what is Click eCourse I'm just going to show you the screen here um where's my webcam so Click eCourse is basically a course hosting site so over here when you first go to the site click ecourse.com <coughs> let's uh just put that up in here uh let's see text I should have done that before uh click ecourse link whoops uh, no that's wrong there we go there we go so click ecourse is very simply click ecourse so https well actually we don't need that we just need click ecourse.com that's it that's what it is so that's the site oh you can't even see look at that it's all just white on top so there's let's just put it up top here I'm actually going to go by the way I'm using a tool called OBS and I'm doing this live right now in the recording I mean it's not a live recording I'm recording this ahead of time and I'm going to be posting it on different platforms but um I'm I'm doing live the update of this I'm setting it say for example I do the background opacity background there we go like this I go like this now you have that I can actually go in here and I can actually change it again to say for example uh, let's make this blue a blue a dark blue on a on a white background and then let's make it a bit transparent so you can kind of see what's behind it there we go right so see you see like that anyway so you go to that site that'll take you to this page here and all you got to do is you got to go up top here let's just move this around a little bit so you can see the top part um let's zoom that in a bit more so you're going to have a register right there you just click on that register and it'll pop up a registration option right here you just go and you put your email your password and your and your confirmation password and then you when you click the register it's going to send you an email that you got to click a link to actually activate your account so that's that's the process of getting an account once you have an account I'm just going to click login because I already have an account actually I should use one of the test accounts let's just uh, change that to test let's say 16 and I'm going to log in as the test 16 account which is a, a fake account but so once you have once you have your uh once you have your account you're going to see up top of the on the top right actually it's not going to have a picture like this it's going to have just a little uh logo with a little you know a black and white face there and but you click on that and it takes you to your account options right so there's all these different options up top right here actually we can't see there let's do that there's all these different options up here right and you'll see one that says blog so the one that says blog let's let's go back here but you just click on the one that says blog right there <clears throat> and then you can set up you can give it a name you can call it you know uh awesome blog site whoops 
or you call it your business name or your name or whatever it is the user is the name of the user that's going to be used to log in with your email address and then you give it a password I'm just going to call it I'm going to say pascal instead of pascal 16. I'm going to say uh, my password here and I'm going to confirm the password then um, you can see right here that all you got to do now is click here to activate it you just click on that it pops up something like this in the middle of the screen and then after I don't know maybe a minute it takes you're going to have your own WordPress block so now we're going to show you what happens in here uh, I'm just going to say cancel uh, actually save that uh, so now after it's finished it's going to show you this like this by default it sets up a, 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 a dummy post a dummy page and it's running WordPress 542 and then it gives you the link here to access so this will be the address that you have the free address now if you want if you want your own custom domain and all that there's there's a that's available as well just let me know or you uh you you, you can see um is it oh this one here this account is actually an uh, an advanced account let me just so when you have a free account this person here I've set it up with a non-free account so let me just let me just go see if I can change that while we're talking I want to go and uh, let's see this is Pascal best guy right here I'm just going to change the user's uh, profile and then uh, then it'll show you what it looks like when you have a free account when you have a free account you still get you still see the um, the link right you still see the link to your blog right here and it tells you upgrade your plan if you want to be able to set your own domain right the other option you saw earlier was I could put an, my own domain in the in the link instead so here's how it works so now you can access your blog which is this if I just click that link it takes me to the default blog right the default what the, the blog looks like you know awesome blog just another wordpress site hello world that's the default page and there's recent posts and things like that so that's just the default look of wordpress if I go back here and I go back to this this I can see right here there's a manager blog so if I click on manage your blog it loads up the WordPress login I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here or zoom out so you can see a little bit more of the page we don't need this it's still a little bit too big and right like this okay so now you get the login I'm going to put in the user I put in which was Pascal right and I'm just going to log in here and so there you go so now we have our blog now one thing you know that I should have probably mentioned is before you go and create your blog you probably want to change your uh your user name so under affiliate and this is something I probably can fix to be a little bit better than that I'm gonna I would have put a different username here so that when I went to the blog instead of being slash pascal 16 or user 120 or whatever it would be for you when you first set up your account that it shows the your username you want right instead of uh instead of uh the name that comes by default on the site right okay so anyways that's in here let's now we're on the blog we want to change this blog we want to edit the blog so over here there's the first thing you're going to do is you want to go to settings I I really prefer oh that's we can't even see the side here now. so under settings what I'm saying is you go to settings and you go to permalinks and I like to change it to post name and the reason why you do that is because you really want SEO friendly names so that's one of the most one of the important things I've learned with attraction marketing and personal branding is that you want to use SEO safe names and that's what this is right so now I do that and then I have that setting the other thing I go to users my profile users your profile and then I go and I maybe I can change the, what it looks like the colors around the whatever I want right 
and then I can set my name it's going to be Pascal Pascal Rodriguez right and I want the name to show up as where is it right here I want it to show up as Pascal Rodriguez or Rodriguez Pascal or just Pascal right whatever and oh, I did this wrong Red, 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 Rodriguez okay <coughs> and then I just save that now over, over here of course you can set up a profile picture use gravatar uh just to, if you uh, didn't already do that it's basically a wordpress uh, avatar that you can set on any wordpress site and it uses your email address so I'm just going to update that that's your basic setting then the other thing you might want to do is you might want to go in the post here and you probably want to delete this hello world I'm just going to trash it and then in pages over here I'm going to want to delete this one these these posts too because I'm going to create my own and under plugins I'm probably going to do a couple things first I can either activate or delete some of these plugins I can also add new plugins I just click on here let's just uh, scroll down a little bit here let's just whoops not the right uh, let's just uh, scroll down a bit here wow there's the plugins click on there let's get that down here instead okay so uh so what you want to do let's uh I'm going to get that out of there for now all right so so what you want to do is you want to go and you can click on add new over here and you can search for all sorts of plugins now obviously if you have certain uh, experiences with WordPress or you have somebody telling you certain things there's a few things I can tell you under a popular <coughs> you're going to find the, the the cool thing about the popular is you can go through here and you can see the number of installations that, or the number of sorry the number of ratings and the number of installations right so you want to go and install plugins that have the a lot of installations and almost all positive comments right and you don't want to install something that's just recent and also you want to do an update where they have lots of updates the ones that have been updated you know in the let's say less than a month or two right uh some that have, have not been important you know some of them are okay right like things like this the wordpress importer and there's certain things that are part of wordpress that haven't been updated but the point is that there's lots of installs four million installs right so I mean that's that is good right so I'm going to install like Yoast SEO is a really good uh, SEO validation uh engine it's there's a paid version and everything lots of these have paid versions but there's lots of good things in the in the in the free stuff there's also uh you want you're going to want a pop-up um a pop-up uh, creator uh there's so there's so much stuff but I mean there's a couple things so you can just put pop-up up here and it'll show you the pop-up the ones with pop-up names and I I've been installing this one so I'm going to install this one here and there's also the other thing you can do is you can install them and try them out and we'll have to I don't know how do you remove them but we'll set something up so that you can do that if you need that um WordPress pop-up you know you can see who they're from right here by WP online support I don't know if that means that it's WordPress themselves uh, <coughs> I'm not a good I'm not that experienced with all these different things I like the exit pop-up because it it's it's something that shows up when people leave the page and the other thing you have to remember if you're building an audience you're trying to grow your brand online you you can annoy people a little bit when they go to your blog right like if you're on my blog here and you're annoyed you're gonna leave that's okay because that means you're not my audience you're not you don't like me enough to stick around right so people that stick around won't be annoyed by these things and they'll understand that why you're doing it and that's what you want that's what I want anyways I want people who know why they're following me right if they're following me and they find that I'm annoying they shouldn't be following me that's and that's okay no hard feelings right and so that's the other the other one I use is uh Seth Godin so what would Seth Godin do so this is this one here <coughs> over here I just installed that and that's the uh, that's that's a plugin okay so now when I go to plugins it shows me the installed ones right so I can activate this these uh, I'm going to activate the pop-up builder I'm going to activate Seth 
Godin and Yoast SEO <coughs> now I can start creating posts now I can go in here and I can start creating posts and but what I'm going to do is I'm going to import and set I have I have another blog that I had elsewhere that I I saved and actually let's let's do something else I'm going to go to WordPress uh actually I'm I have a success an old blog that's kind of automated that every time I post on my blog it goes there <coughs> automatically so every time I post something this this is where it ends up at right so I'm going to go in here I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go edit uh the I'm going to go and download that right I'm going to go here and I'm going to go tools export and export all content and then I'm going to save it and I'm going to upload it to uh, the other site <clears throat> so they're on WordPress I've just got a free plan uh, I've got a download link to my email but I can just download it here I'm going to save it my backups I'm going to create a new folder because I've actually never done a backup WP WordPress here I'm just going to save that and then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go up import tools import and I'm going to go into install WordPress <clears throat> and then what what I'm going to do is I'm going to imp import that right so run importer choose a file into my backups uh, import and then uh oh invalid oh I guess this is a version that's not supported by this is kind of weird because this is wordpress.com <laughs> should have the latest interesting hmm okay well I have another backup from my other blog this this wordpress.com anyways is just kind of a backup a duplicate if you will of my reel so I'm just going to go in here I'm going to import again I'm just going to run importer and and I'm going to upload using my my other backup I'm going to use an old backup because I want it to take less time yeah so I'm going to use a smaller one here a smaller file with less less things so it takes less time to import so I can show you what happens hopefully it'll be finished afterwards and you'll be able to see what you can do once you have a bunch of posts you can change things make it look all sorts of different ways using uh, using plugins and using all these different things I'm going to do this <coughs> so while that's happening I'm going to go back here and see if there's a way for me to export hmm. that's very interesting do they have a search for importer uh, no ex export <coughs> so wordpress wordpress importer I'm wondering if I need to install that on there install upgrade business install plug oh there you go so they don't let you do things on here unless you pay for for the account I'm I just have the free account here the free domain right uh, and that's it that's all I got so this is importing right now it's going to take a few a minute a few minutes to import um what else can I show you maybe I can show you a couple other things so click ecourse as I was talking about click ecourse.com is not just a wordpress site it's also a course hosting site so if, when you go to courses on the site you see the different courses that are on the site and you can have it you can show prices for example by clicking this little show price box up there it'll show you the price of the different courses some of them are free the ones that are free you can go on the course 
and you can just say oh I guess he already has that I was going to say you got to add it to your library first but I guess he already has it courses if I go back to another one that's free the interviews over here I'm going to add oh there you go so when you go to the site and you find a course that's free and you don't have it you can just you can you can't do anything unless you unlock it right so you got to add it to your library it's free so it doesn't cost anything but it adds it to your library so that you can now you watch it so then you can click on start the course and then it'll start playing the videos for the course there's this little intro video here And you can actually see all the different episodes that are in here interviews I did and other things uh yeah different interviews I did with different people over the years I just put them in here uh and courses again let's see is even though it's still importing uh what else do I have in here I've got this tip simple online strategies you definitely want to have this uh these are just 10 little tips to help you build your brand online um you can go to master of simple if you click on here master of simple it's coming it's loading it's going to load so basically in here you just put your name and email and you get this free ebook the free the ebook is down here you can also get it here uh but basically this ebook is a book on on the 10 simple online strategies it's how to grow you know how how simple on simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you right you can actually get this for free you just go to masterofsimple.com to get that you can also go to clickycourse.com and go get it under here under courses and you'll find it at uh, right over here at simple online strategies right there right you can find it right there so all right so now we are back we've got this uh, we've got this over here uh this is done the import no it's not done oh it's over here still going I thought it was finished because I was seeing this tab being done so let's close that all right so the other courses there's of course uh, other things I've got the 12 steps to your online success that's another one that's basically 12 steps these are videos I recorded uh over time it's again free and you can actually get it just by going to that uh to the 12 steps to your online success <laughs> in the in the course you can also get it from the website what is it online success 12 step I think I for anyways I'll, it doesn't matter you can go to course in to clicky course to go find it and that's uh that's what it is okay so the imports finished so basically in my case I had some that were invalid they're different they're pop-ups and things so that doesn't really matter but now I've got posts so now I've got all these posts in my blog and if I look at my blog right here and I just reload it it's not it's not necessarily going to look right because it's it's got these weird menus and things I can actually go and <clears throat> edit the look of it I can go over here I go into appearance my customize right there <laughs> And then what I do is I'm gonna first I'm gonna change the menus because I don't like those like that the top menu um, for the menu I'll just put the bottom the top menu I'm gonna put the main menu and desktop I'm gonna put second okay so now it's updating it's going to change what this looks like that the, now this is a default wordpress theme it's not anything that I find very great um but I can also go in here and I can say uh theme options mm -hmm. okay I'll just publish that but then I want to show you what happens when you use different when you change themes it's really cool what you can do with a wordpress site 
um, you can actually update it alive and look at what it would look like with different themes so under here under appearance there's themes right there so you go to that and then what you do is you go in here you say add new and I like to use the popular because that shows you the ones that are mostly the most used already you can now you can go on each one of these and you can go details and preview <laughs> and you can see the ratings and I can go to next here you can see the ratings and some of them have no ratings and the ones that have no ratings you probably want to stick stay away from them unless you know the person who created it but anyways you can go through like that but the thing is you can actually go in here and say install let's say you have you see one that you kind of like you go like this I'm just going to install a couple of them to show you how to you know I don't even know I, I haven't there's so many so many themes <coughs> but depending on your you know this is an, a store right some of them are have menus in different places they have widgets some don't have widgets like this one so okay so now once you have some installed if I just go back to my themes the ones that I have installed now I can go and on any of them I can say live preview so I'm just click on that <coughs> and then I see my blog using the live the preview of what that would look like if I was to set my blog up using this particular you know this what this is what my blog would look like with this theme right I can also change it to a different theme I can go over here and I can change it to this one maybe this one I like better I don't know we'll see what does it look like this one has this it's got these the, there's no featured images so but that's kind of what this one looks like right I can go change it again let's say I don't know which one this one here <coughs> so each of the themes you can just do a the, it's not live right now it doesn't actually change it to this this is not what your your site looks like right now right this is this is just a preview of what it could look like uh if I go I change it again let's use uh let's see this one there's some parties going on if you hear the noise in the background but so yeah so this is what this one looks like so whenever you're ready you just say activate and now it's published and if I go to my actual blog right now I reload this now it's going to be the look that I just chose just now right so it's going to be this and now of course if I add a new blog it shows up in here this is uh there's probably an option to set just the summary of the blog for example instead of the full blog and depending on the on the on the on the um the theme things look differently right different based on the theme itself so I'm not even sure if I look at this one for example I can look at what it looks like so you can change it like this and that's and there this one I actually like this nicer because it's now it's just there's more yeah I'm going to activate this one so that's but anyways it doesn't really matter because this is just a test blog anyways it's not my real blog but that's how you set up a blog if I reload it here now now it shows me the new the new look the new blog the nice clean look that I that I just saw right here right so that's how you set up your wordpress blog on the course click ecourse site and you can choose any of the themes that are there if I say add in add themes I can actually go back here I can say uh, close that let's say I want to go back to themes I just go add new theme and then it, that's it whoops uh, what's this uh, let's go into feature I guess I chose a theme here that's not uh, supported anymore featured popular there okay so that's that's the wordpress setup this is where you see the themes this is this is an example of the themes on click ecourse as you set up your wordpress blog you're going to see all these themes as options because it's a self-hosted wordpress site that you can use yourself anytime and 
hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions let me know but don't forget this is free to set up initially you don't have to pay anything unless you want some advanced features all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.